In this demo, we're going to talk a little bit about tolerance dimensioning. So when I create a dimension, the standard dimension is 30 thou tolerance. I will go to value, change that to numdink. So it's decimal inches. A dimension like this would be presumed 30 thou tolerance normally. It would be identified in the general notes or a title block. This could be ANSI or ASME as long as there is a title block that identifies uh, the tolerance. So on ANSI drawing, it's almost always two place dimension, it's 30 thou tolerance. ASME drawing could be two places with the title block identifying two place precision of 30 thou. It could be a four place precision like this and still be 30 thou tolerance if in the general notes they're identifying it as 30 thou tolerance unless otherwise specified. Meaning that this four places is 30 thou tolerance unless they designate a tolerance on that dimension. Okay, So the two most common under the tab tolerance, the default is none. We have two INC number two tolerance uh, relimit is this number two. And this one here is bilateral, equal, or unequal. So we'll just kind of click on that and change my upper value to 0 0.010 and hit apply. You see that you get a four place dimension with the tolerance of greater than 0.01. So this could go to 3.01, but must be no less than 3.0. Or in here, the lower value, if you type in 0.1, it's going to be confused, uh, 0.01, and hit apply. That doesn't make sense to be plus 0.01 plus 0.01. So you literally in the lower value got to identify a negative to hit apply. And what happens is if you're doing plus or minus 10 tau, it will change that to an equal bilateral call out. So if I had changed the tolerance to say, it could be 30 thou tolerance up and hit apply. Well, 0 0.3, that'd be huge. Let's go 0 0.03 and hit apply. Now we've got a unequal bilateral call out meaning that it's not equal going up and going down. So when you say plus or minus 30 that means you're equally going up 03 or down 03. Unequal means that they're not moving in the same value up and down or positive and negative. This has the tolerance of 0 0.04, 40 thou tolerance. That's the total difference between this. So again, your normal tolerance is no tolerance, and I hit apply, it's presumed plus or minus 30 thou, meaning that the tolerance is 60 thousandths. It's plus 30 minus 30 totaling 60 thou tolerance. If I change this back to INC num2, and hit apply. Again, you get your unequal. If I zero this out and hit apply, you might think that you're going to get that to equal out, but that's really not what it's going to do. So you really got to go minus 0.03, hit apply. This would be a redundant call out because it's already called out most likely in the title block to be plus or minus 30 thou. So if I switch this to tolerance RE standing for uh, upper and lower limit, when I hit apply, you'll notice it puts the dimension 3.03 on the top 
and 2.97 below. The upper number is always on the top. All right, we're going to imagine, I'll just say okay here. We're going to imagine that over here I have a pin. When you have a cylinder that you're calling off, you should dimension it using dimension and not do a diameter call out like I would here. This I would do a diameter call out. Okay. And we would right click on this and go to properties. And we would change, sorry, under value. Uh, actually, I'll leave that at two. And we'll change that to numdink. And under dimension line, we're going to change regular to two part. So you have the horizontal vertical. And we don't need the second symbol. We have one arrowhead representing one symbol. Another arrowhead we're representing the second symbol. You always have to have at least one symbol. Symbol number two in the pop up window is optional. I don't want it. What you're looking at is an ISO type of call out. That's usually like Europe, places that are doing a projection one orthographic view. We do third degree projection. So we have ANSI ASME specs, which calls off a single arrowhead. So we remove the symbol and hit apply. Now I can move this dimension out. Uh, shoot. I'll move this dimension out over here. Okay. So if you have a hole, a hole callout is called with the diameter callout like such. If this is a pin, we call off the dimension by dimensioning the side view. Go to properties. Two arrowheads are necessary for this, even though it's a circular. We still need the two arrowheads. We leave this regular. That will be fine. We're going to go to value and numdink this. Hit apply. Okay. And I want to do one more thing where I go to text. No, I'm looking for dimension text. And I could try and put in the diameter symbol here. Oh, where is it? Shoot, I don't see the diet. Oh, there it is, right in front of me. Let's hit apply and see what it looks like. This is a diameter, okay, of one inch. Now, here's the problem you got a one inch pin going into a one inch hole. That's not going to fit, especially considering the fact that you have limits you could work with. If you're working to 30,000 tolerance, this pin could be 1.03. And this hole could be 0.97. If this hole is 0.97, this pin's 1.03, no way it's going to fit. So we can create tolerances to make sure that the hole will fit in the pin. Later on, you'll learn about the RC3 tolerances in chapter, I think it's chapter 9 in the book, or maybe it's chapter 10. Chapter 10, there's RC3 tolerances, and you'll cover that throughout your learning experience here at Amtech. But I'm just going to try and put this in layman's terms. This hole must be bigger than this pin. When you go to the store and you order a half inch bolt, the bolt is a half inch in diameter designed to fit in a half inch hole, meaning that the bolt is less than a half inch. In reality because it's working as if the hole is at a half inch or larger so to do, in order to get this pin to fit in here I need to be one inch or larger typically we would not do a plus or minus tolerance on this we would put on a tolerance something like this I'm gonna go to properties and we're gonna go back to tolerance 
the tolerance I'm going to use for this hole is going to be un uh, bilateral unequal and we're going to have a lower val value of zero and we can go up let's say point oh three zero, and hit apply all right so what we're saying is this call out is this hole could be a one inch hole but it has to be no, le no less than one inch it could go all the way up to 0.03. So I've just tightened the tolerance of the hole 30 thou. It was normally a plus or minus tolerance of 30, means it had a tolerance of 60 thou. This dimension here just tightened up the hole to a 30 thou tolerance. Well, if I leave it the way it is, this pin still, if it were at 1 inch or 1.03, it's not going to fit in that hole. So we got to create a tolerance on this. So I'm going to click on this and click and go to properties. And to try and get this in layman's terms, I'm going to put this in tolerance with limits. So I will say minus point zero one minus point zero three and hit apply and select OK. So what we're saying here is this pin that's going to go into this hole is going to be at the greatest 0.99 okay and the smallest is 0.97 and the reason why we put on a limit less uh, of the lower limit is we don't want it to get so small it doesn't fit it's just too sloppy of a fit and then again we don't want it to be too big where it won't fit in the hole so the 0.9 is the greatest this pin can be. That's the maximum material. 0.97 is the minimum material. 1.00 is maximum material. Taking out a larger hole would be minimum material. So 1.03 is the minimum material. The most slop we would have in this would be 60 thou, meaning that 1.03, if this hole were actually 1.03 and this pin were 0.97, you would have a 60 thou tolerance in there. If we have this pin at 0.99 and the hole is actually at 1.00, you're going to have a tenth inch, or yeah, a tenth inch of tolerance. Okay. So, or a hundred thou. So that's how you create your tolerances and kind of a quick explanation of why we apply tolerances.